Hello, gorgeous being, and welcome to this week's Masculine and Feminine. Unconditional Love reading for this week beginning. Now let me work out which day it is. The 21st of May, 2018. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here. I am operating freehand for the next couple of weeks because I donated my tripod to a young photographer in Mexico. I have left Mexico and I'm on my travels on my way back to Europe. So I donated my tripod, um, as I said, to a young photographer in Mexico. So we are freehanding, which I do have to be honest, I enjoy sometimes from time to time. So as we all know, the only constant in life is change. I hope you are experiencing some great changes after this shift, this astrological event, which I felt was very powerful for us, for you, if you're here, of the Uranus energy, the, the change, the sudden shift, the truth, the air, the logic, that for me it's the truth, moving into an earthed, anchored, Taurus energy. So it's, for those that are living in truth, the, the truth being your own individual uniqueness, unique truth that you feel in yourself, in your body, the practical circumstances will align and are aligning with that. So if you're living in alignment with that, it will feel as though the rest of the world is kind of coming into that alignment. If you're not, then it will feel as if the rug has been pulled under you. Um, but for most, it's a, it's a combination of the two. So there's some moments where we will feel, wow, everything's free and easy. And there'll be some moments where we feel that the rug's been pulled out from under us and we're not quite sure what's going on. And um, But it's all good. It's all good. So welcome, welcome, welcome. So this is going to be... I've shuffled thoroughly. I'm going to be holding another energy bath this week um, for living in love, called living in love. Um because I have had some major shifts. I've had people this week emailing me with um, developments, very sudden shifts, positive developments in their relationships, like shifts after two years. People I've been working with regularly for two years have had sudden shifts, a phone call out of the blue, things happening. It's not, it's not a coincidence. Um, and so I'm, I'm here, um, to support anybody that needs and requires it in this period of change. Um, and for over the next nine days, I am kind of unexpectedly free um, to, to just kind of like be here and do what I need to do. So it will be Tuesday the 22nd of May at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And if you cannot make the time, you can attend. And um, the recording will be sent a couple of hours after the it's uh, made. The last one was really quite beautiful. They're my favorite um, things to do. And it's just coming together, being in the space of love will impact your whole life for the better. It's essentially a space of non-resistance. Love says yes. Love says yes. And so these energy baths are a space for us to be in love. And it kind of permeates. It permeates. It has an effect. Um, it's a bit like, 
you know, kind of going out in the sun. It 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 it, it kind of does something. So so yeah, that's on Tuesday. And just move these cards around a little bit. Um yeah, because like I said, I just really feel as though I'm here to be of service in any way I can right now. That just feels like all, all I'm kind of quote unquote supposed to be doing. And I embrace that fully because I love I love doing it. So click the link below, enter your time zone, and um it will be made available to you in your time zone. Um, the last one I'm also going to make available. I'm sorry for anyone that I haven't uh, responded to. I've been moving around and I also burned my fingers. One of my fingers. Um, so I was kind of unavailable for, uh, for a day or two this week. So I'm kind of playing catch up. But it is all good. So... Welcome, 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 and now let's get this out. Normally, when I'm doing it freehand, I don't, um, oh, I was going to say, normally when I'm doing it freehand, I don't do this. I wait, I get the cards out and then I pull them, but I decided that I wanted to try to do it live and this is better. And so the bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups. What I love about recording freehand like this is the amount of detail we can see in the cards. This Page of Cups, I can feel this energy wash over me. It's, it's just this beautiful generosity of, of of love and of communication of how we feel. With no shame, no manipulation, it's just speaking from the heart and understanding that everything that you say that comes from the heart is of incredible value. What I love about this card is this is the only card, well not the only card within which there's something in the cups because there are other cards um, where the cups contain things. But I just love this little fish that this guy has to, to offer. It's, for me, it's saying that when we truly communicate our love, ourselves in love, because we are love, then we are a gift to the world and we gift something to the world. We feed the world. It feeds and fuels the world. It's an invitation for others to really step into and feel into who they are and what they have to give at the same time. It's neutral. It's not, like I said, it's not manipulative. It can be challenging sometimes to communicate how we feel um, without trying to achieve something. I was sent an article uh, recently by a friend about um, a book that's been written, which basically proves that cause and effect is created by, by the mind. And that time is, well, we know this, you know, time is not linear. Um, time and space are kind of constructs which help us to create stories. And if we are speaking from those places, we, we aren't as powerful as we can be when we speak beyond our ideas of cause and effect. We're not speaking. He doesn't speak in order to achieve something other than the desire to, to share. It's sharing, it's generosity, it's innocence, and it's this love that we are born with. It's this love that we are, and it's understanding that we are perfect, and all we need to do is share ourselves truly with no ideas of, you know, 
anything good or bad that can be created. We do impact one another and influence one another. We are all connected. Um, it's okay to do that. But essentially, this is about being and sharing our beingness, which is love. And for me, this is the new world that we're stepping into right now. Um, and it's about being generous with yourself. And it truly doesn't matter what you are sharing. It matters that you share, that it is true to you. Because every time we, are, we share from our truth, even if it seems negative or cruel or the, they're, they're judgments of the mind. When we share our truth, even if it can be a difficult truth for other people, they may react and they can react in any way they wish. But I truly believe that when we share truly, we are always a gift. And I think we can go about our lives and we've kind of built a society around giving people what we think they want rather than just sharing. Um, and it's not about judgment. So, you know, it's just sharing your perspective and understanding that it's not right or wrong, it's your perspective. And um, every time we do that, no matter what that seems to be or what we think it will create in the world, um, we are a gift. We gift others, we truly do, no matter what it is. It's about true honesty. True honesty beyond what we think is appropriate. Because that's just kind of the ego believing that it knows. The self believing that it knows what it should do or what other people should be doing rather than just aligning with what is happening. It's true honesty. So this week, be truly, truly honest with yourself and therefore with others by sharing your true self. A lot there. So now let's get on with the rest of the reading. So the first card, oh, bit of a heads up there. First card for the masculine on the left side is the Six of Pentacles. Again, this is about generosity, generosity of spirit. He is feeling flush. He is feeling as though he has something to give. He wants to be of service. He wants to give to others. When he feels as if there is need, he wants to provide. She must stand her ground. All she needs to do is stay. In her awareness of her uniqueness as a beautiful human being that is divine, that is part of the one, part of the all. It's about collaboration. If there isn't a team, if there aren't others, there's no leadership to exist. That he is working and he is working at making the pentacles, but he loves his work. Just be who he is and understand that that is the, the way to work together, to build something of glory.